Hi everyone, it's Karen and welcome back to Encaustic Hacks. This is our seventh episode. I'm so excited. I can't believe we already have seven videos um, of really useful hacks for encaustic painters and all kinds of painters. Um, today's video is going to be really great for all kinds of painters. We're going to talk about the sink. Do you have a sink in your studio or do you use a sink near where you paint? Are you using your kitchen? Are you using something in the basement? Um, I'm not sure what your setup is, but I'd like to share my setup with you and hopefully you can incorporate some of these ideas into your sink. So why don't we begin by me showing you my sink? So this here is my sink. And as you see, it is a standard utility sink. And it has four feet and it's very basic. You can get this at any store like Home Depot or Lowe's or Menards. And let's take a look inside the sink. Well, oh, there's something that fell in there. I'm gonna pull that out. Um, it's pretty clean for today, I suppose, but uh, this sink has definitely seen its share of messes. So let me tell you about some of the products and things that I have on my sink. Um, for one, one of the first things I did was I actually um, attached this additional nozzle to my sink. I got this on Amazon. It was really cheap. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but what I really like about the nozzle is that it gives me uh, a closer range to whatever it is I'm washing, and it also has that great flexibility to wash things, unlike this up here, which just shoots a straight shot and doesn't give you all that cleaning. I also think there's a little bit more power coming out of here when I use this. It's much stronger. So I highly recommend at least making an addition to your sink faucet area. Um, one of these, I think it was maybe 10 bucks on Amazon. Another great product I have is this is actually a toothbrush holder from the Dollar Tree. And the reason I love this toothbrush holder is because um, it allows me to dry my paintbrushes without leaving them in the sink. So after I wash my paintbrushes, I can take them and put them in my toothbrush holder. And there's different holes in here so I can have my brush standing up. And this has been such a wonderful addition to my regular paint brushes that I use, not my encaustic paint brushes. But I really love this Dollar Tree holder because it holds so many brushes and um, they carry these all the time. So you should be able to find one and it sticks beautifully to the sink and uh, there's, there are drainage holes and it's, it's just great. Um, the second thing is, you might have noticed, my homemade brush cleaner. I used an old shampoo bottle and um, I wrote brush cleaner on there because I don't want anybody washing their hands with it. So, <laughs> including myself, I don't want to forget. So I made myself a basic brush cleaner. You can find a lot of recipes online and some of them include using a little bit of um, a hair conditioner or Murphy's oil soap and regular soap with some Dawn or some Dollar Tree fabric softener. This one smells really yummy and um, I highly recommend having that handy so that you can pump some brush soap onto your brushes to clean them. Um, I also of course have your standard hand soap that I have here and um, 
And what I've discovered recently is this fast orange microgel, which I bought on Amazon, and it is a wonderful cleaner. It has pumice in it, so it really exfoliates when you're washing your hands. It takes everything off. It's so great, and it smells awesome exfoliates your hands and they're really soft. So that's a win-win over there. Um, I also have extra rags, you know, old t-shirts and stuff. So if I'm trying to wipe off a paintbrush, I might have this right here at the ready in order to do that. Um, this is a soft scrub brush that I got. I think it's actually an art tool, but I like this for um, scrubbing some things. And um, there's also, <laughs> I have one small piece left of my Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, but this has been amazing for cleaning out the sink. So of course I would have a bigger one, but um, I've used this to get out various stains in my sink, which you can see, it works pretty quickly and pretty well. And so I highly recommend you have a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, not this size, of course, and keep that handy by your sink. Um, another tool that I got is I bought, well, I also want to tell you when I'm drying gloves, I just take a pair of gloves and I'll just dry them over the end like this. And then I also have this handy suction cup tool that I got on Amazon and it's great because it has various hooks and I can hang different rags on it um, or a towel for drying hands or drying anything off. This is my stopper. I can even hang this right here to dry. This has been really convenient. And underneath my sink, it's a bit of a mess, but I keep some plastic bags for my garbage cans. And um, I created a small mat from an old apron that was broken and I just laid it on the floor so that I would have a mat. So that's been convenient. And the other great thing about this utility sink or slop sink as some people call it is you can actually write on here with a dry erase marker if you need to. So I like to let people know that there are some new bags under the sink if they need to grab them. And uh, that's another convenient hack. So those are my sink hacks. I hope you found some of them helpful and I hope you get to try them out and let me know how it goes. Please press like if you enjoy the video and comment if you have any other sink hacks or if you've tried any of my sink hacks. Thanks so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.